And there's a lot to think about when it comes to open water swimming. And often one of the biggest overlooked areas is turning the boys. Yeah, it may sound simple, you just turn left or right, but in the melee that is a swim race, there are some tips and tricks that you need to know. And we have got eight tips to help you swim around boys. The more you know, the less daunting an open water swim within a triathlon can be. So let's jump straight in to how to swim around boys. Starting with knowing the course layout. Yeah, knowing the course can make a huge difference to your open water swim. All events will have a different layout, so learning that course and mentally rehearsing will make a huge, huge difference. And actually with that, most events will use a different color set of boys for the sighting and guiding boys, and then a totally different color for the turning boys. So make sure you know what those colors are. And then with that also, the angle that you may need to turn around those boys. For instance, a 45 degree angle is very different to a 90 degree angle. And you may even find even sharper angles than that. Know your levels and your goals. If you're someone who's just planning to complete the swim and enjoy it and have a comfortable experience, then you're gonna have a very different approach to someone who's trying to go as fast as possible. So when you're bearing this in mind, it'll affect how you seed yourself at the start. So you want to be surrounded by swimmers going at a similar pace as it'll make that experience of getting around the boy far easier. Sight to the next boy. Yeah, before you get to the boy ahead of you and the craziness of that turn, start looking and sighting towards the next boy, which you should remember what color it is from the course map and knowing the course, which we covered in the first point. And by doing that, you can enter that boy ahead of you and quickly find your bearings and get on track as you head out of that. Don't swim directly to the boy. Now, obviously from a distance, yes, you want to swim as straight as possible, so you aim for the boy then, but as you get closer, you actually want to move your point of aim to a few meters away from the boy. If you're aiming for a quick and fast line, then fairly close, but if you're wanting to stay out of trouble, then you want to take a slightly wider line, so you'll aim a little bit further around. Now, bear in mind that that shorter line is gonna come with more congestion and more likelihood of a few bumps along the way. Breathe towards the boy. So as you get closer towards the boy, make sure that you shift your breathing so that you're facing the boy. That way you will be able to sight the boy more easily. Orientate yourself as you're passing the boy and make sure that you don't bump into the boy. Another good reason why you should practice breathing to both sides. Kick a little harder. Increasing your kick is gonna help you keep that momentum as you get closer to the boy and you're going to be doing a little bit more sighting so it'll help keep your legs up but it's also going to act as a great deterrent for anyone who's trying to swim too close to your feet. Having that strong kick is really gonna stop anyone trying to cut across your feet at the last minute. Swim past the boy and then turn sharply. Yeah, it's far more efficient to make that turn in as few strokes as possible. For instance, doing a 10 degree angle in nine strokes is gonna take you far longer than one over a 90 degree angle. So swim past the boy and then turn as sharply as possible, as quickly as possible and start sighting the next boy. The corkscrew turn. This one is for the racing snakes, but it is gonna be fast and effective. That said, you do need a little bit of space. So it's one that you might want to practice on your own or do if you're out in the front of the race. So as you approach the boy, you want to turn your back towards the boy. So you're rolling away as though you're breathing on the side away from the boy. And this is then gonna move you onto your back. And then you're gonna take your next stroke as though it's a backstroke recovery stroke. Once once your arm is facing up towards the sky, you're then going to put it straight back down into the water at a 90 degree angle as you turn onto your front. And this should give you a 90 degree turn. You're on your front and ready to keep swimming. Well, we hope these tips help you in the scary open water and obviously help you to complete that triathlon a bit faster. Yeah, let us know how you get on and how you manage to utilize those tips. You can do that in the comments section below. And remember, you can click on the globe and make sure you don't miss any more of our videos and give us a like if you enjoyed the video.